All right, let's learn go to AWS. This tool is so great to have if you work with AWS on a daily basis. Go to AWS is great because it simplifies several SSM commands. I'll show you everything you need to know in this video. To install, I'm going to grab this link here in the GitHub repository and then head over to my terminal. Now that we're here, I'll invoke the wget command and paste the URL. And now that it's downloaded, we can install the package. We'll invoke sudo dpkg-i, then the name of the package, hit enter, and then we'll verify by invoking go to AWS without any parameters. All right, so next I'll demonstrate several commands so that you can get a better understanding of this tool and some of the use cases. This will save you a lot of time, so stick around and we'll learn more. All right, so the first command we're going to do is SSH over session manager. We're going to do go to AWS space EC2 space SSH dash T. We're going to insert the instance ID and then follow it up with a dash I and then your private SSH key. If I hit enter, it's going to select the default profile if you don't specify that at the end and it'll allow you in. So my AWS account is tied to the default profile for this demonstration. If you wanted to specify your own profile, you would do a dash dash profile at the end of your command as we have it noted here. Before I show you the run command provided by GoToAWS, here's the equivalent if you were to use the AWS CLI. While this may be acceptable for some, it is not simple and it adds a lot of complexity for issuing basic run command functions. Okay, if you enjoy this video and want to support DevOps Unlocked, smash the like and subscribe buttons to unlock the algorithm's potential. It would definitely mean a lot to me. Alright, that's it. Let's move on to more GoToAWS. Okay, so the run command, we'll invoke go to AWS space EC2 run dash T, we'll paste the instance ID, we'll follow this up with a dash C, this is the command, and in between a single quote, I'm just going to chain two commands here, you name dash A, two ampersands followed by uptime, and end it with another single quote. If I hit enter, it's going to select the default AWS profile, and we see the output of these two commands right here. First one being uname a second one being the uptime command. All right, next up to transfer a file, we'll invoke go to AWS EC2 SCP. It's gonna transfer a random text file, the destination being the temp directory. Dash T, I'll insert my targeted instance ID, and then I'll follow this up with the private key, which I have called newkey.pem. Hit enter, and you can see that the random text file was transferred successfully. All right, and then to forward ports, we're going to invoke go to AWS EC2 FWD dash T for the instance dash L for the first port to listen on, which is 1337, and then dash R to forward 1337 to port 80. While we're waiting for connections, I'm going to open up another Tmux terminal pane and do a netcat on localhost for port 1337, and you can see the connection has been accepted. I'll do a curl command real quick just to show that a Apache website is up and running. Okay, one last thing I wanted to mention is if you install GoToAWS from Ubuntu's Snap Store, it did throw an error for me when I was recording this video back on November 21st, 2021. Uh, the error was that the Session Manager plugin was not found when I did indeed have it installed on my local machine. So just something to keep in mind. I would highly recommend sticking to the Git repository that I have listed in the description below. And that'll be it for this video, so thank you for watching. Again, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, list those in the comments section. I will reply. I will get to every single one of them. If you're looking for another video, watch this one next, and I'll see you back here in a few weeks. Thanks. Bye.